Listen, there's been a race to the bottom over the last seven or eight years since the recession hit, and workers have carried the full price of that recession on their backs in terms of terms and conditions of employment and decent jobs. We now have a race to the bottom in terms of precarious type employment, zero hour contracts, short hour contracts and temporary contracts. It's just not fair that workers nowadays don't know whether they have a week's wages from one end of the week to, or one week to the next week. And we're fighting for a decent living wage, decent jobs for all workers. And that's the only recovery this country should have. I'm here today to show my solidarity with Dunn's workers, an injury to one is an injury to all. Um, their refusal to engage with mandates is an absolute disgrace. Um, and their behaviour since the, the strike uh, has been an absolute, absolutely ridiculous. So, um, yeah, get out to march. large delegation because uh, the, the dispute that the Duns workers are having uh, with uh, Duns stores itself, it's not just Duns workers that the zero hour contract issue is affecting, but large parts of uh, the workforce, and we're going to have a false economy built on this, so we have to try and stop the rot. It's Duns stores now, but it could be another employer tomorrow. I think it was important that those of us involved in politics would show solidarity and support to the Duns workers. The workers in Sligo have been first class in terms of highlighting the, the way the Duns management treats them. Uh, I think it's very clear that the people of Sligo and the North West certainly support decency for Duns workers and as an elected representative of that community I feel I should be here walking and supporting in, in solidarity with the Duns workers in Sligo and indeed with the rest of the Duns workers from the rest of the country. Well, here to support the Decency for Duns campaign uh, for proper hours uh, trade union recognition uh, and for a decent pay for a decent day's work. Uh, huge public support for the strike uh, the month before last. And again, you can see huge support for the Dunn Stores workers here at the march today. Uh, I'm here today to uh, show my full solidarity with the Dunn Stores workers who have been treated absolutely disgracefully uh, by, the, by this company and I think it's, it's, it's so fantastic to see such huge numbers of people out on the streets in solidarity with the Dunn Stores workers because this issue is not only uh, relevant to them but also all workers who are uh, suffering undo, uh, under uh, precarious uh, working conditions. Um, I'm here today to support the Dunn's workers um, because I believe in solidarity, I believe in supporting my union comrades even though it's a, a different union, it's not my sector. Um, I have, just because I have a secure job doesn't mean that I wouldn't support others um, in their plight. Um, we're here today to stand against rogue employers and to say you cannot treat people like this. This is an issue right across Europe. This is a global issue. This is a, a fight back for decent jobs, for decent standard of living for ordinary working class people right across the globe, right across the public sector, right across the private sector. This is a big issue which has to be fought and won.